everybody welcome back to my channel welcome to be unique i might be whispering a little bit because my son is sleeping and yes i gave birth finally um so a lot of things has changed and certain things would take place um yeah so let's just dive into it this is my birthing story so stay tuned okay so let's just jump right into my birthing story um just to get things out the way um, I did a vaginal birth and it was medicated, meaning I had an epidural and we'll just, <laughs> we'll just talk about it all the way through. Now it's funny. It wasn't, it wasn't a couple of days ago or a couple of weeks ago. So just to clear the air, he was born on February 1st at 4:49 AM and his name is Thomas Lavelle Davis. The spelling and everything will be in the description box. Um, I don't think it's necessarily important but if you want to know it'll be there so I was I was actually gonna go into work I'm pretty much a busybody if really there isn't anything wrong with me I'll show up at work I'm not the type of person that just won't be at work um, so but the day January 31st I just couldn't understand what the what the hell was going on with my body <laughs> um, I was assuming I was experiencing Braxton Hicks contractions because later on towards the end of my nine months I was getting them a lot frequently and so I didn't think um, nothing of it but days two leading up to January 31st I had um, my mucus plug came out and I had a bloody show if you don't know what a bloody show is literally just just google it <laughs> it's gonna be a long video if i try to explain that so um so yeah so i knew that he was coming any moment and the day before i was in the hospital they assumed i was in the hospital not my doctor but my nurse the nurse that was taking care of me assumed i was coming in for braxton hicks like woman i know what braxton hicks contractions are and I, I wasn't coming in for that. I was coming in for um, a bloody show. And I just wanted to make sure that it was a bloody show and nothing else was going on with my, with my child. So they sent me home, blase, blase. And so technically it was a false alarm, as people call it. So I, I'm saying a lot of so, my bad. So the next day, I... What, like the next morning I was like early in the morning like 3 30 I was having contractions and thinking they were Braxton Hicks contractions because they weren't strong and they weren't frequent but I did I were I was timing them regardless um and then it wasn't as painful but they were comfortable they're I mean they were uncomfortable so I thought nothing of it whatever I drove my husband to work and I just didn't feel right. I felt sick. Like my body just felt like very uneasy. Like if I, I couldn't really focus on driving back home. Cause I'm like, yo, what is going on? <laughs> I was like, what is going on? So I was like, you know what? If I'm not feeling um, any better at this particular time, I just, I'll just call out, whatever. So I went to my parents' house and my mom is a teacher, so she wasn't there, but my brother, my brother is an EMT and my mom, she has her master's in health. So a lot of my questions and concerns were geared towards asking them besides my doctor, but they were the ones that made my pregnancy really smooth as it was. So kudos to them. Um, so my brother's name is Davis, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put his name out there so you're like who is that you know that's who he is so <laughs> so he was telling me you know from the time I was telling him my mucus plug came out bloody show blase blase he told me he was like your child's coming in 72 hours so um between 48 and 72 hours so he literally came 72 hours so um I, he was at the house and I was just chilling and I was just I felt sick like my there my um my dog was there and 
and he was trying to figure out what was wrong with me and everything. So I already knew something was going on. I wasn't sure. It was I, I, I didn't think anything was going on that was bad. I just knew that I can't go into work like this. It's ridiculous. So um, so my brother started timing them because he saw my face and he said, yo, you like you about to go into labor. So we're going to sit here and we're just going to, you know, chill and figure and figure things out. So just, you know, hours passed. My mom came home. My brother went to school and um, my mom was like, yeah, we're going to start walking around every time you feel those contractions. I said, OK, I was like, yo, it's not going to work, whatever. It does work. So I'm walking around and blah, blah, blah. And then like <laughs> I started walking again and my I felt like I peed on myself like to the max. And I'm like, yo, what the and knowing me, I don't I don't, <laughs> I don't have issues like that. So I literally looked at my mom in shock and was like, yo, I have urine all down my leg in my thigh. <laughs> so I knew I was like does that mean my water broke what was going on my mom was like just calm down we're gonna go to the bathroom and you know we did it I'm not gonna just gross you guys out but we did a series of tests to see if they if it was my water that broke my mom knows so the symptoms and everything, so that calmed me down. So she was like, yeah, you erupted, but not all the way, which was true. So changed my clothes, called my doctor and um, to let them know that I'm on my way to the hospital, blah, 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 blah. So this was like 7 p.m. at night, like 7, 7.30. And when I got to the hospital, I was five centimeters hitting six centimeters dilated so I was like oh my gosh uh, this baby is coming tonight or tomorrow or something <laughs> so I was like low-key mad freaking out like nervous so um so yeah we're checking everything mind you there was no medicine given to me yet I was just in the other room before I got to the delivery room I got to the delivery room and let's just fast forward. I was seven to eight centimeters. I was supposed to get like a drip medicine through um, my IV. The nurse, I guess, didn't get that memo from my doctor and it didn't happen. So mind you, I'm in pain from <laughs> five centimeters all the way through to the end. So. I got the epidural. I, I had to have gotten the epidural at like eight almost hitting nine centimeters so there's a threshold that you can't get it so the epidural did not work the first time so they had to shoot something shoot some kind of medicine I guess up again and it feels like a cooling feeling down your back and then it immediately made my bottom half numb feet legs everything right so I couldn't feel anything but then she was like okay we're gonna give you Pitocin mind you I know what Pitocin is right <laughs> I looked at that lady and I said, what? <laughs> I said, stronger. I said, oh my gosh, no. With that being said, Pitocin is basically a, a, a drug or a medicine that makes your contraction stronger. So when you're able, you're, so when you're ready, it, it gives you a, it's basically a signal for when you're ready to push. That makes sense. So I didn't need that because I already felt the urge or the 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 contractions anyway. So it didn't matter to me. It didn't matter for me to get the Pitocin. That's what I, that's just my theory, whatever. So I got Pitocin, whatever. And oh my gosh, I felt like I was getting nailed to the cross. Like seriously, oh my god. <laughs> Yo, Pitocin is of the devil. There's like no god in Pitocin at all. So I was pushing, I was pushing, and of course my doctor came in when my child was crowned. So, and I honestly thought I couldn't do it because I just felt like I was pushing nothing at first. And then they were like, yeah, <laughs> his head is there. Da -da -da -da. I was like, man, these Negroes is lying. <laughs> I honestly thought they were lying, but I didn't say that. But I just like, you know what, let me just focus or whatever. 
and I lost my breath. Like I was slurring and everything. My God. But um, I was literally, I had to focus and had to breathe. Like my mom was teaching me how to breathe um, in my ninth month. So when I got to the hospital, I wouldn't have any issues. I wasn't screaming, screaming. You, you lose energy when you scream. So I wasn't screaming. I was trying to stay positive in what I say. I wasn't cursing. Like a lot of people would be cursing words and stuff. Like if that's you, then that's whatever. But me, I try to just, it's not about cursing. It's just positivity, getting my energy straight, and blah, 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 blah. So at one point, my mom had to come to me and whisper in my ear, like, you need to focus and get it together because you need to get this baby out. So, because I, I looked at her and I was like, yo, I can't do it. I can't. <laughs> Just like full of dramatic fun. So I was like, you know what? She's right. Let me, you know, bear down, as they say, and and push as hard as I can. Um, and then he popped out. I felt like it took forever, but, um, I was pushing, I think I was pushing for like two, yeah, I was pushing for two hours and then he came out. But mind you, I had contractions all day and thought it was, thought it wasn't contractions. Like, I don't know where my brain was. Now for the people that are pregnant, or for the people, for the women that are pregnant, um, if you're thinking about doing vaginal without without medicine it doesn't matter I would do it won't it won't make you any weaker than you are you're still pushing out a human you still carry a human for nine months so um for doing that and for being able to do that like I applaud myself and just women in general so if you're thinking about epidural and you know you can't take pain just just don't even just do the epidural but if you're thinking about it in the beginning, like, I don't want to do epidural, I want to do it natural, natural vaginal birth, prepare yourself from the beginning because pregnancy, whether you throw up or not, is smooth as hell until the delivery. I'm not trying to scare you, but I mean, that's how it is, literally. So my pregnancy, just to throw that in there, was A1, dar. it was 100% amazing. I didn't have any complications with my body or throwing up or whatever. I had acid reflux once in the beginning because I kind of brought it on myself. I was drinking orange juice like an idiot. So yeah, um, I ate really good. Um, I had little cheat days, of course. You know, you're pregnant, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I try to stay as healthy as possible and I was very active so I'm a dancer besides being a freelance makeup artist and hair artist but I'm a dancer and I was doing that before I was pregnant and during pregnancy so I went to Zumba workouts and stuff so I stayed active all the way through my my pregnancy up until the last week so you I think the healthier you are, no, the healthier you are, the better it is for your pregnancy, but every pregnancy is different. Like you'll still throw up if you're healthy or not. Um, but it does help. It does help a big, 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 big deal. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments or if you want to like and share, please do. Um, if you want to see any more mom videos, just let me know or any questions regarding delivery. Thanks for watching.